Oh no, you missed some poison hemlock during the winter and now it's in full bloom. Is there anything you can do to control it at this point? Well, yes and no. There is no easy way to achieve control of poison hemlock once it is in full flower. Herbicides will not cause enough damage to do it in before it successfully sets seed and pulling or digging the large plants is hard to do. Once poison hemlock is in full flower, about the only option left is to stop it from setting seed and keep the infestation contained. Doing this will require some hand labor and is not without risk. Remember, we are dealing with a highly toxic plant. So please be cautious and wear some basic PPE while going through the control steps I'm gonna outline in a moment. I suggest wearing long pants, long sleeves, gloves, and goggles, since the toxins can be absorbed through the eyes. If you hate invasive plants, pretend that like button is a poison hemlock and give it a whack. In order to keep the flowering hemlock from going to seed, the flower stalk will have to be removed. The easiest and safest way to accomplish this is to chop it down with a hand implement. Warning, you don't want to go after hemlock with a weed whacker or a mower as both will sling lots of hemlock juice into the air. You don't want that stuff hitting you in the face or worse, breathing it in. Either can have dire consequences. They don't call this stuff poison hemlock because it sounds cool. So stick with the hand tools. Choose your favorite chopping implement. It can be a sickle, machete, brush axe, Klingon bat lath, or lightsaber. Whatever you like best. And while we're at it, let me know in the comments which you prefer, Star Trek or Star Wars. Make sure your PPE is on and then starts the fun part, giving all the hemlock flowerectomies. This can be kind of mind numbing, so maybe pop in your earbuds and listen to the Backyard Ecology podcast while you do it. I like to pretend I'm the Highlander as I slash my way through the patch. If you hadn't noticed, I'm a big fan of sci-fi and fantasy. Once the patch has had its flowers vanquished, take a second to look over your handiwork but only a second because we aren't done yet. All those flowers, even though severed from the plant, may still have enough energy to set seed, and you do not want that. The flower stalks must now be gathered and bagged so they can be sent off in the trash. Do not compost them as they are still quite toxic and the toxins take a long time to break down and they may set seed in your compost pile. While handling the stalks to bag them, I recommend wearing heavy duty disposable nitrile gloves. I'll put a link in the description for some good ones. Thoroughly wash clothing that was worn while working with poison hemlock, and of course, wash your hands. The hemlock you remove the flowers from will likely not come back next year as it was at the end of its life cycle. Some may return, and any seed already in the soil will likely sprout in the fall and winter, which is the best time to really get after poison hemlock. To learn more about that, check out this video, and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.